Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon native tank and over the past several days I've been looking in here and I've been noticing less and less minnows swimming around. Most of them are gambusia or mosquito fish and I had, oh I don't know, maybe 20 of them in here at one point and we are down to just a small handful. You can see there's so few that they are now actually huddling together uh, in a schooling type fashion for safety and you can tell when fish are doing that that they're definitely stressed out and feeling the need of safety in numbers so when I first put them in here there were so many of them they just swam around the tank looks like we might see some excitement down there I'm not sure what's going on with the two fish in there it looks like a couple of fish are fighting over territory or something those are definitely the same species of fish and that is definitely some unusual behavior. It looks like it's fighting with something down under there. And I doubt it would be a crayfish. Yeah, that's definitely more multiple fish fighting. Interesting. I've never seen that kind of behavior before. I wonder if it's over territory. I wonder if maybe it's spawning behavior. That would be interesting. I don't know. But now, I'm even more curious to see what's going to happen. Because what this video really is going to be about is us getting out to Graves Run and catching some more minnows to put in the tank. I will try to catch maybe a little bit of variety if I can, but probably just going to be more mosquito fish and just sort of bolster the amount that we've already got in there. And maybe someday we'll get them breeding in here. I don't know. It wouldn't be uh, terribly difficult to get a bunch of mosquito fish in here and have them start breeding. They are very similar to guppies after all. But it's a beautiful day out, and there's no sense in standing around here talking uh, looking at the tank. So let's get going and I will see you out by the water. All right. The water level is definitely up since the last time I was down here. And I don't see any schools immediately swimming around. But I think we'll be able to find something. Let me fill my bucket up with water here. And then we'll take our clear jug with us so we can actually look at what we catch. All right, I can see a small group out there, but they are definitely the uh, Natropa species, the long black minnows, but we're looking for the Gambusia, the mosquito fish. And they usually move around in huge schools. There's a couple little ones. These are those little black minnows. They are not the little black striped minnows. These are not the Gambusia. Okay, I can see a little school of them over here, and it's definitely those little black striped minnows. That's the ones we saw when we pulled in. There's another little batch of them right there. So we're going to move away from them. I don't want any more of those. There's a little school out there, but I think once again, it's those little, yep. Yeah, it's the same little black striped minnows. There goes a big school of fish out there, but once again, I do believe it is not what we're looking for. No, that's definitely not what we're looking for. All right, there's another school, same thing. Oh, that's a big school. That goes all the way up there. See, this is what I was expecting to see. Thousands of 
little minnows swimming around, but I was really expecting to see some of them being mosquito fish, and so far I do not see any. just so many of them out there where the water is deeper but it's all those black striped minnows I'm just not seeing any mosquito fish I guess we can go try somewhere else there goes a little school of fish but it's same thing all right everybody we are just down the street from the house and it's been a long time since I've been up here, but there's a little spot up here where I can usually catch some minnows too. And today we're going to walk up there and check it out. We already passed a deer skull. There's another deer. There's another deer. Probably going to pass a few more of them before we are done. It's hunting season around here and people just throw the carcasses on the side of the road a lot of times and a lot of times they will just dump them in the stream beds so that's not unusual at all it's actually been so long since I've been up here I'm just assuming that the same people that used to own it still own it and that I have permission to be here. There's a new gate on the driveway. So I don't know if that means it's new people moved in and installed a gate, or if the guy I know just had a gate installed. But I haven't seen any for sale signs or anything on the house, so I'm assuming, to the best of my knowledge, it's the same guy and until somebody tells me otherwise, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Now, I used to be able to go right through here, but this looks a little murky and challenging. Oh, yeah, that's really gross. Let's try. Oh, yeah, this is really gross. what smelled worse that deer or that muck I just stepped in all right this little hole right up here usually holds a lot of minnows and this is where I usually find those rosy side dace yeah, I can see a bunch of little ones swimming around individually here and there. I'm trying to look for a nice little school of them. We can hopefully scoop out a bunch all at once. Boy, they already see me coming. And there's not many of them. It must just be getting too late in the year. I'm not sure where the minnows go. Maybe they go downstream into deeper water. There's a little school swimming around right there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to any of them, but I can see them. Oh yeah, there we go. And of course it's all those Metropus and Creek Chubs. At least that's what it looks like from here. pretty big too those are definitely creek chubs all right definitely don't want any more creek chubs and yeah, that's a pretty good sized school but it looks like it's all creek chubs God, that water's so deep too I'll never be able to get in there and scoop them out before they swim right back out of the net there's some little fish darting around. Nope. 
I don't think today is going to be a very productive day. Ain't catching any fish. Got some crayfish swimming away from me, but we don't need any of them. All right, and going any further upstream, I'm up into other people's property that I'm not really supposed to be walking on, so this tree here is always my turnaround spot. If I can find any in really shallow water, I might be able to scoop a couple out. Maybe I can herd them down that way a little bit. Nope. They just, I've done this before, that actually is cut out way up underneath of there. And when they get scared, they just vanish. And I've figured out they're just going up underneath of those branches and everything and just laying low and whereas I try to scare them downstream it never really works you get down here and there's nothing eh, there's a few little fish swimming around out there guaranteed that there's fish swimming around out here. I can see bunches of them. But this water's going to be deep. And as soon as they get scared, they're going to go right down under all this mess. So there's almost no point in even trying here. All right. I gotta go back over all this stuff and get back to the truck. I guess we can go down on the other side and try a few little spots over there too. Can't hurt uh, at this point. So let's get through this without breaking my neck. Sometimes in the calmer water, you'll see some of them swimming around. If it's shallow enough, I can just sort of smash in on top of them and get them. But as soon as there's any depth to the water at all, trying to drag this net through, it's like trying to pull a parachute through the water. And of course the fish are super fast and they just swim right on out of it. So like I say, if it's shallow enough, I can just sort of smash into them and rip them out of the water before they know what's going on. I gotta find some first.
Well, let's see, a little school of maybe a dozen, two dozen, look like chubs. Or possibly, again, those Notropa species, the little tan minnows with a dark stripe down their side. Nothing. It's more of those tiny, tiny little fish I saw out of Graves Run that are just so small. I think they're just falling through the net. Or possibly I didn't catch any in that case, but either way, uh, had I caught some, I think they would have gone right through the net. All right, we can sometimes find minnows in these little pools. Just saw a bunch of crayfish scurry downstream. There we go, there's a little school of minnows. And I got a few, yay. And of course it is, ooh, it's one of those little darter type fish, so that's interesting. I don't think it'll live very long with crayfish. There's that little, I don't know if it's a darter or a sculpin, but we're going to keep it. And then I got three more of those little striped Notropus species, whatever they are. So let's see if we don't see any more of them. I never even thought about trying to catch some of those little darter type fish. Those you can almost catch by kicking up stones and then just scooping downstream from where you kicked up the stones. And a lot of times it'll scare them up. Let's try it. And there's one there. So now I've got two of those little darter-like fish. Yeah, I definitely have two of those darter-like fish. I don't know what they are. Let me still try again. Nothing that time. We've got a few there. Should have done this earlier. Again, that's one of those. I'm not sure what that is, but that's going in there too. Looked like a Natropa species, but when I pulled it out of the water, I actually think it was one of those darters or whatever they are. Again, I'm not sure if it's a darter or a sculpin or what. This would be another good spot to try it. That's definitely a sculpin. So, all right, we're gonna call that good. I think that's enough fish. 
It's not the ones I was looking for necessarily. But the one almost looks like a like a rubber lip pleco. It's got that sort of flat sucker face shape on it. And then the other ones that I'm saying that I don't know if they're darters or what, they have almost like a they almost look like a loach. They got that real sort of pointed front end on them that goes down to like a little pointy snout. And so I don't know if it's the female species, uh, the female of the same species, or if it's a different fish or what. But I'm getting out of here at the wrong spot. So I focused on the fish I caught. So all right, that turned out not to be such a waste after all. And here we are back at the house. I'm gonna try to give everybody as much of a look at these as I can before we put them in the tank, because I suspect once we do, the schooling minnows are just going to vanish into the group of other ones and these little darter sculpin type fish are going to vanish into the rocks at the bottom. So you can see the one on the top of the screen there, the 12 o'clock position. That is the one that I'm pretty sure is a sculpin. It has that sort of broad head, almost looks at first glance like a pleco, as I said. And then you've got these other ones you can see lying on the bottom like this one in the center that has a very elongated pointed sort of snout on it and those are the ones that I'm not really sure what they are I got two of them the other one is right here lying right next to this one and again is that a male and a female of the same species or are they two completely different kind of fish I believe the one is a modeled sculpt and it almost has the coloration. Let me try to turn this around and see if they stay where they are. Uh, it almost has the coloration of South American bumblebee catfish. There's a good look at it. So I'm pretty sure that's the modeled sculpt and what that fish is with the sort of pointy face and the little stripes on the side. I have no idea what that is. So if anybody does know, then please leave a comment below. And there's a good look at one of those fish that I keep calling a Notropus species. There's another one swimming around. Those might even be two different species. The one has very red fins. The other one has almost completely clear fins. And that's why I often just say Notropus species. Because when you really start looking at the Notropus fish, uh, the different types of species of minnows we have around here, there are so many that look so similar, that have subtle, subtle differences, even down to like the number of rays of, uh, in their fins. So I just call them Notropus species. They're some type of little tan minnow with a dark line down the side. Whether I've got multiple species of them or not, I don't know. But let's go pour these into the tank. We're not going to worry about quarantine. That tank really kind of is a quarantine tank in its own right. So give me a second, we'll go get these put in the tank. All right, everybody was out and about until I walked up and they scattered like cockroaches when the lights come on. So definitely not the way it was a few weeks ago when I got this set up. I had a lot of fish in there and they just swam around everywhere. Now again, there's so few in there, they're hiding. So here come the new additions. Just felt a splash of water. One of them definitely hit the surface. Uh, I do know I've lost one mosquito fish due to jumping. I did find one dried up mosquito fish on the floor one day. So we did lose one due to jumping. But other than that, I think we're losing them due to predation by the crayfish. I've said before that the crayfish aren't really aggressive hunters. They're not really active hunters, but they will take the opportunity if they can I don't know if you can see it or not but right underneath of that little piece of green um, whatever that stuff's called milfoil you can see the little darter sculpin fish whatever it is sitting there And I know the one that I'm pretty sure is a sculpin darted out and was sitting on that big rock. There's the other one that I'm not sure if it's a darter or a sculpin or what. 
But you can see they're going to just vanish down into the bottom of this tank, and we're probably not going to see a whole lot of them. And then the one that I know or I believe to be a sculpin, uh, I saw it land on the rock back here, and now it is gone. So it's probably... Oh, look at that little... Can you see the tip of the crayfish claw sticking out from under that leaf? I love the crayfish. They are just such cool little animals. So <laughs> that was about it. A little anticlimactic when you look in the tank. I was really hoping we were going to come home with about 20 more mosquito fish today, but just not in the cards. Again, not sure if it's the uh, weather, the temperature, or what's going on, but I did not see one single school of what I thought to be mosquito fish out there at all today. Lots and lots of those little Natropa species, but none of the mosquito fish. So you can see I'm sort of schooling across the back of the tank now. So maybe we'll try again. It's supposed to be nice over the next few days. I'm going to try to get out, hopefully, uh, maybe one last time on the kayak or something. And maybe I'll take the net with me if I get in an area where I see some little minnows swimming around. Thought we were going to get to see some action there for a minute. But if I get to see some more little minnows swimming around or something, maybe I'll take my net with me. And we'll be able to grab a hold of them or something. I don't know. You can still see that little darter right there. And I'm not sure where the one that was up front went. There it is. You can see it right there. So by all means, if you know what kind of fish that is, or you've got some sort of idea, let me know. Because I sure don't. There's a really good look at his face. See how pointy that snout is? It does not look to me like what I would think of as a sculpin. That looks more like a darter. But darters are fairly new fish to me. I'm not really, you know, when I was growing up and playing in the stream and fishing and all that, I could identify minnows, you know, or sunfish. I didn't, I couldn't begin to tell you all the various little species. And it wasn't until fairly recently that I started catching these fish, you know, and putting them in my tank and everything that I started realizing there are so many different little species uh, in one little stream. And again, just no idea what these names are but judging by that behavior and the way it looks i think that's some sort of darter but i don't know what is native to maryland in the way of darters or not i know we don't have any of the really bright colorful ones that's for sure really cool looking little fish i'm gonna have to figure out what to feed it to make sure it's getting the proper diet it's probably going to live off little worms and crustaceans and things on the bottom and it probably needs uh live food Maybe I'll get some Insufuria, Infusoria, however you pronounce that. Maybe I'll try to get some of that going on in here or something. We definitely have some excitement with the minnows swimming around and chasing each other. Again, not sure if that's a territorial thing or if it's a mating, you know, trying to establish dominance. Not sure what's going on with that, but it's definitely interesting to watch those minnows darting around chasing each other like that. So there you go, everybody. Nice way to spend a Friday early afternoon. The rest of it's going to be spent out doing yard work. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm really curious about this fish right here. I keep seeing it swim by. It almost looks like it doesn't have any coloration to it. Uh, I know it's a Gambusia, but most of the Gambusia have some sort of coloring to them. This one just looks almost washed out and clear. Um, almost looks like some of the young guppies I have. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Again, you can see this Gambusia in the back. And there's some color to them. It's all these little fish right here is what we're talking about. And then you see that little one and it's just pale white. It's weird looking. So, all right. As I said, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up with this or any other tank I've got. I've got bunches of them. My regular viewers know that, of course. So don't forget this one is my native tank. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.